Welcome everybody, this is Jason, and this is your Mama Wears Army Boots. It's it's a very basic shoe swapping tutorial. Now, why do you want a shoe swap? Okay, so maybe you have a mesh that you like, but you wish that it had different shoes, or you wish that it were barefoot, sexy feet, or whatever. So essentially we're taking shoes from one mesh and putting them onto the body mesh of a different mesh. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start to start us off, we're going to open Body Shop. And we, so first we go with the body outfit, the outfit that you're going to add the shoes to and create a new project. So. In this case, male, and uh, yeah, it's it's this one. This is the one I'm going to. We load up this outfit. In this case, I'm doing Julie's open purple robe because it looks awesome. So we're going to call this row one. Just export it like that. And I don't want it to be an undies. So let's put this in every day. And just going to rename it robe with boots. It doesn't matter because I have to, I'm adding a group to this one a little bit later. So we're going to fix it. So it doesn't really matter what you call the project. Just import it back into the game. Now. Let's switch over to female outfits. So we're going to grab this one. It's from, it's one of my meshes from Draco Rising, but I'm just gonna, uh, we're just going to chop off the feet here and put in sexy feet. Uh, I'm going to call this Draco with sexy feet, and we keep it informal and everyday. And we just import that back in. Now, for the time being, we're done with Body Shop. Uh, if you don't already have the textures for the boots that you're using, you would go you would go ahead and find the boots. So. Here we would just we would look for the boots that I'm using are I don't even recall. There are these four to two boots that Julie made, and I just I attached them. They're work boots. I just attached them to the bottom of this jumpsuit outfit. So, and I think it was the dark brown color here. So we're just putting the work boots on this open robe and then we're putting sexy feet on the dress. But anyway, if you don't have the textures, you would you would export this file and re-import it just to keep the textures. But we don't need to do that because I already came prepared. So let's just close out of there. So we select the body outfit, we export it as a project. Then we select the shoes outfit and we export it as a project. And then we just we re-import them back into the game so that we can find them in the save sims folder. In sim PE now. So let's, uh, I've already extracted or I've included the main meshes. I haven't extracted them yet, but in this case, to extract an outfit, Let's start with Julie's open robe here. So we go, we select the GMDC in the resource tree, select it again in the resource list. And you can see that there are two groups. There's body and there's a robe. Just regular dude with his robe open, you know, Sunday morning, going out to get the newspaper. So we go extract. And I've already exported it here, but I'm going to, we're exporting this 5GD and I'm going to just call it open robe, just like that. 
Okay, and then we're going to grab the boots. We're going to extract that and we're going to call it work boots. And that needs to go in the root folder. So we've got open robe and we've got work boots. And now Let's open the Draco Rising Mesh. And we're going to do the same thing. This one has just two groups, Body and Body Alpha. And I forget how I split. I think that just the dress is the alpha part. Oh no, the, the alpha is just the is the little dragon pin. Okay, so that might be a challenge. So we go extract. Yes. Yeah, select it in the resource tree, in the resource list, and then right click and we select extract from the drop down. Okay, and then the there should be an AF sexy feet in the resource thread, so I'm not going to mess with that one. So so now what we want to do is put the work boots on the robe and put the sexy feet on the dress. Okay? So what we need to do here, we open milk shape. We're going to go import Sims 2 Unimesh import version 4.09. And then we go back up to my project folder. And the first thing that we're going to open is open robe. I want to keep the blend groups. And how did Julie put this together? Okay, so robe, I can probably just hide that. Okay, so now we can see that we're probably going to have to cut it down here somewhere. And we want to leave all of the blend groups unhidden so that when we cut it, we're cutting it off of all of the blend groups. Now there are two ways to do this. I, I did the boots as a WSO to make it easier, but there's also the option to just import the 5GD. And we're going to go over both of these. So if we go import, our first option is Sims 2 Unimesh import, just as we did before. Now here, this is important. It says, if you import over another model, results may be unreliable. Do you want to continue? So for this first pop-up, we just click OK. Now, the second pop-up says, do you want to include additional bone definitions? So no, we do not want to do that. So the second pop-up, no. And then we select boots or let's select, is it work boots? Yeah, it's work boots. And we don't need to blank the blend groups on this one because the only part of the mesh that we're using are the boots. Okay, so we can delete body and we can delete no blend. So now we just have these this nice clean boot mesh here. So if we just select the boot group, we can see, okay, so let me move that up. So we need to cut it below this line. Well, or we could just we could just grab the cuff of the boot and scoot it up a little bit so that it's hidden. That might actually be the better option. It might mess up the mapping a little bit, but it's not going to be noticeable. So what we need to do is hide the body 
and or no 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 that's wrong Hide the boots. So I just want to cut off the sexy feet. So right there. We just select everything below that line and delete it. And that's going to take a while because it's deleting it across three blend groups. Five GD. So I go import and then select Sims to Unimesh import. So we, we did we did that with both here, right? So then I call this a I call this one a simple shoe swap because we're not we don't have to link anything back up. The the dress is going to be a little bit more complex than that. But here, we just want to scoot the cuff up so that we don't have that gap in the mesh. Let me make that bigger so we can see what's going on here. See that? There's a little tiny gap between the end of the shin and the work boot. So, Let's select none. And then model tab, select by vertex. Let's just grab those. Then we move and we only want to move vertically. We do not want to move this way. And we just, so we just, Turn off the Z axis and we scoot that up a little bit. And now I don't like that now. Let's just leave that the way it is. And it's, it might mess up the UV map. But it's again it's just it's just work boots. It's probably not going to be very noticeable. Let's hide that. Now one thing that bothers me because this is a a four to two mesh, it has a lot of these just raw choppy looking normals. So what we're going to do, let's only select where we're going to smooth it. So along the top edge here and along the seam where the front and back of the boots join. And then we go edit, or no, I'm sorry, vertex, cat's normal smoother. And I link to this plugin in the resource post because it's it doesn't ship standard with Milkshape. It's an add-on that you, that you can and afterward and you see it just it just made those normals nice and smooth so let's go edit sorry edit unhide all so now go back to the groups tab select your boots and then go to the materials tab and we want i included boots PNG and it's going it's going to look weird and transparent in milkshake because it's a PNG back to the materials tab and now you see the difference and let's turn out the skeleton right quick so we can see how those look See, it does stretch, but it's not anything to be concerned about. I'm going to discuss the other method for adding the boots. 
So if you work with WSOs a lot, I'm going to save that group name. So one other option for you, let's delete that right quick. And if you go file, import, TSRW object, You can, you can import just the boots as a WSO and then you don't have to deal with that funky the pop-up windows that warn you that you're going to destroy your mesh if you import over it. So let's step back. So let's pretend we didn't delete that and we're just we're just going to leave that as is. Okay, so we just added our we added our boots. Let's say this is a mill shape file because I don't want it to be destroyed. And then we export as a 5GD. So We can move on to the next one. So let's go new, import, and that this is this is going to be a little bit more of a complex swap. Import, Unimesh, and we want Draco Rising. Let's keep the the blend groups, and then we hide the body alpha. Okay, and so what we have here, let's select the body. So it's just this funky, it's kind of a formal dress with a high heel, but I want to, I want to get a little bit into complex shoe swaps. So I'm going to show you how to add sexy feet and then stitch them together. Okay, so we do the same thing. If you import over another model, results may be unreliable. Do you want to continue? Okay. We do not want to include additional bone definitions. And then we go AS sexy feet. Just like that. And we select bottom. Okay, well, shoot. There doesn't seem to be a great place to cut and paste this. Maybe these two? Yeah, I think that might be the best choice. So you just have to look for a point where you're going to combine the meshes. And I think I'm just going, I'm going to get rid of the, the blend groups for now. Ah, that's as good a place as any. Oh, is that high risk? This is, sorry, this is Warlock's, uh, they're kind of high res sexy feet. So, well, why don't I just do this? 
Just get rid of those two. And then that one should align fairly well. Yeah, see, those were almost made for each other. Let's have a look at the front view to see what's happening there. So we've got an extra vertex loop somewhere. So let's take this down to here. And then let's unhide the body and hide the bottom. And wait a minute. Okay, so those those mesh up really nicely, actually. So, now we need to merge these and stitch them together. And this is, this is a little bit more of a complex shoe swap. Okay, so... Move that back up. And we select we have to select both of these vertices here because they're two they're two separate vertices. They're probably both a lot they're probably both assigned one hundred percent to the right the right lower leg joint. So all we need to do here, we don't need to do any complex editing. That's a whole different thing. So we select both vertices and we go vertex data merge. This is a part of the Unimesh plugins, just like that. Then we select these back here and we go vertex data merge. We're, we're selecting all of these from the front view, by the way. These, I don't know what's happening here. These don't look like they align. Oh, no, never mind. One of these is in the back here, so we don't need that. We just need the calf where it intersects. Vertex, Vertex Data Merge, Vertex Data Merge, Vertex Data Merge. We just do that all the way around the, the thigh there. Or, I'm sorry, the shin. And then we scoot over and we do it to the opposite shin. Just keep doing the vertex data merge. Select a pair of vertices. No. I selected the wrong thing in the drop down. And let's switch to a right view so we can see what's what's being selected. Okay, let's take the wireframe off. And let's turn on uh, draw vertices with bone colors. So, yep, that appears to be correct. So we don't need that on anymore. Let's turn the skeleton back on and we're ready to save this.
call it Draco Rising Sexy Feet, that we, once again, we export as a 5GD. And save it just like that. And now we go over to SimPE. We go to Object Workshop. Start over, open, and we want to grab the female mesh or the, the male mesh here. So we'll go next and then we go finish and then we give our scene graph a unique name. Let's give it Julie's original name, SP3. Just like that. Okay, so we cloned a new mesh that we're just going to replace. And we'll want to replace it with the 5GD that we exported, this one here, the Open Row Warp Boots. And here we can see that it's already, it's kind of high, it's 11,542. And we replace it and now it's fewer polys because it's not sexy feet. Let's give it a quick preview. And yeah, it looks like regular adult male body with work boots. Okay, let's create the other mesh. So if you're cloning like this, you always want to select the correct age and gender because the, the skeletons are slightly different. So we go to, uh, let me see. Let's grab the Draco Rising AF mesh. Then we go next, we go finish, and let's give it a new name. AF Sexy Feet, save it, and once again we're replacing the GMDC. Okay, and that just undocked my plugin view, so I'm going to reset my layout right quick. And we give it a quick preview. And yeah, it appears to be a dress with just some sexy feet. For this one, I got rid of the blend groups because uh, there's only there are only two parts to this mesh, body and alpha. The body is the one that has all the marks. The body alpha is just a little pin that she's got on her lapel. But ideally, if you if you were going to make a mesh out of this, you would. You would do this, and then you would export it. At, you would export the body as a WSO, and do the morphing action, re-import it, and and rename the morphs. But this is just a quick example of how to do a shoe swap. So I'm not going to to do any extra morphing at this time. So then we go. We grab the meshes that we just created. 
which were Draco Rising with six with sexy feet and Silk Robe with work boots. And I need to go to the correct game folder. My current game folder. Go to this go to saved sims and we paste it there. Now let me let me go over this right quick. So in milk shape sorry, I should have referred to my PowerPoint earlier. So in milk shape, we're going to we have two options. We can import as a 5GD or a WSO. So we go so for the 5GD we go select file import sims to unimesh import version 4.09 we select the 5gd for the shoes mesh or wait this is uh, this is i'm sorry for the shoes mesh if it if it isn't necessary to import the blend groups or i'm sorry it isn't necessary to import the blend groups for the shoes you can trim away the shoes and then export them as a 5GD or WSO. That was that was how I originally extracted them. And then you would start a new project, import the body mesh, and then import the shoes over it as a 5GD and make sure that you select no to add the additional bone assignments or you can import as a WSO and sidestep that mess. So then you hide the shoes and you just you trim away any of the extra vertices in the body and then you show the shoes again, make sure everything lines up and that's basically a simple swap. For a complex swap, you would, as before, import the uh, Import the shoes or the feet that you're going to use, trim away anything you don't need, export, and then import the body as a 5GD, import the shoes over the, the over it as either a 5GD or, or as a WSO, from the body, trim away any of the extra, and then we're going to stitch them together with Unimesh Vertex Data Merge, as we showed. Okay, and then uh, if there's a seam, we would smooth the seam with Cat's Normal Smoother, or I'm sorry, Cat's, yeah, yeah, Cat's Normal Smoother, then remap if necessary. In the case of the boots, it wasn't, and then export everything as a 5GD. And then you just build your meshes in milk shape. So the fastest way to build a, me a new mesh is to clone an outfit mesh with the appropriate gender, age, and object workshop. Then we select the, the GMDC, right click the resource in the resource, or I'm sorry, right click or click in the resource tree and the right click in the resource list and select replace in the drop down and then just replace the 5GD and then preview to make sure that you've got the right mesh. So now moving on to the recolor. So we've done all of the meshing stuff. So now we go to our save sims folder and we want to make sure that we're in the right game. I have four different games. So we go to save sims and then we open the recolor, not the mesh, the recolor. So now we want to go to the 3IDR, click the 3IDR in the resource list, and we go Tools, PJSE, Body Mesh Tool, Linking Stage. And this is the Silk Robe. So we're going to go with the Silk Robe Work Boots. We'll just do OK and save. Do exactly the same thing with the Draco Rising dress. So we got tools, PJSE, linking stage. And we select the Draco Rising with sexy feet. And we save. Now, 
we go back to we have to load body shop up again okay so we have one last step so oh this one we need to we just need to alpha out where the shoes used to be and this one I mean it's it's correct but what happened is that there isn't an extra group in the recolor right so so we linked it so the robe and the body are displaying fine but he's missing the thing in the recolor so let's fix these individually so And I should have just left it open. So we're just going to alpha out that sexy the sexy feet so that it's not showing the shoe texture on the sexy feet. What's going on? Let's just, let's try that. Sometimes with alphas, if you don't, like, if you don't have milk shape open, it's a little bit of trial and error. But, yeah, that looks perfect. one let's call it open robe fix oh I messed up before we do I'm sorry we got to get back out of body shop because I forgot you have to add the group beforehand so Oh, okay, so yeah, I, I'm sorry. I this step slipped my mind. So with the robe, we need to add a group to it, right? Because we have currently there are only two groups. There's body and there's robe. So the first property that we look at in the three IDR is num overrides. This is the number of overrides or groups in the mesh. This is, this is the total number. So I currently have two. We need to bump that up to three. And then we commit. And then we've got override zero shape and override one shape. So we just add a line here. And instead of override one shape, we change the name, not the value, the name to override two shape. We just commit that. We don't need to mess with that further. So then we've got override one subset. We add that and we need to change this name to boots. And then, oh yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. And then override one resource key index we just add we change that value to we change the name to two and we don't mess with the value okay so now if we just go to mail clothes okay so that's cool it's there it just it's missing It's missing the texture of TXFT. Okay, so let's 
name this open row boot fix. And then we re-import that back. Close out a body shop. And now we need to open that new project in Saved Sims. Open road open robe boot fix. Now you can see it has added three TXTRs. Or, or it now has three TXTR and three TXMT. So we just need to find the one that says boots. And for some reason it added this. Let's go to our desktop. And let's grab that boots PNG. So we just we just replace it as we will with any texture. Yeah! Look at that! That is downtown. And she looks good too. <laughs> okay, so let's have them look at me and hopefully they won't make zombie eyes. There it is. And there you have it, simple and complex shoe swaps.